Hi, I'm Olo Labode, and as you know, I'm passionate about stirring you up to live the dreams God has put in your heart and helping you fulfill your purpose. Today, I want to share on a topic that quite a few people asked me when I was writing my books or after I had just written my books. And the question is, how can I truly live out the dreams God has put in my heart? And today, I just want to share from personal experience, really. You know, by the grace of God, within four years, I was able to write two books. I wrote one mini book. I started a YouTube channel, and then I started a non-profit organization. And really a lot of people ask me and i'm not finishing at the same time co-pastor with my husband have four children so i'm a mom i'm a wife with every day and i had a full-time job so people a lot of people used to ask me how do you do it how did you do it and so for me really i was my life was at, at the time before that time it had just been like a regular normal thing but i got to a stage whereby i just got restless in my spirit i just felt like there has to be more to life than just going to work every day than just being how i was i just felt like there was more to me i needed to put out more you know i needed to do more there was just something in me that I wanted to do more so as i got restless god began to stir up dreams as i began to ask god what have you created me to do you know my purpose god began to birth dreams in me god began to stir of dreams in my heart and truly what helped me to put those dreams into place what helped me to add to, to do those dreams was putting a schedule in place that was one big thing that helped me you know I had to be intentional about a schedule and you know John Maxwell says something he says you will never change your life until you change something you do daily the secret of your success is hidden in your daily routine what we do every day is either taking us in the path that we need to go or is taking us away from it and so for me having a schedule was one big thing that helped it, it kind of just accelerated me because it helped me put things in perspective like i said i wasn't just working a full-time job i had i worked the night shift whereby which means i went to work at 10 p.m and i was there till 7 a.m and I remember, I, you know, I'll come back from work. I'm so tired and my work was tedious. I was really tired and I had to set my alarm. You know what? I have to wake up at so-so time because I had to schedule for everything I had to do. Was it easy? No. Was it for no? Was it? But what I found was that because God began to stir up those dreams in my heart, I knew I had to birth them. And like, if you ask any mom that has children, I have four birthing you know carrying the baby the pregnancy might be fun but birthing is not always fun because labor can be hard labor is you have to work you have to push that baby out you have to persevere in the labor room you're screaming you're shouting your makeup is not uh, is not all there your hair you really don't care how it is and that is how it is when we want to birth all that god has put in our heart in our in our lives is just like a woman giving birth you just give it all it takes so at that time for me one thing that i know really helped me and i know would help people is having a schedule have a schedule that works for you because i worked the night shift i remember i always had to set my alarm when i wake up i had a scheduled time to write because i used to write every day because i knew there were books that i needed to that that i knew how to come out i scheduled time to write i scheduled time to read because god began to stay up in me that i needed to impact other people and if i didn't grow there was no way i could impact other people so I begin to schedule time. I schedule time for everything. Everything was that I wanted to do was on my schedule. So put a schedule in place that would help you. Because trust me, it accelerates. Because you can see everything you need to do on paper. And I would say, even if you don't get to everything, it is a great guide to help you along the way. That was one thing. Another thing I wanted to share is be consistent. You want to birth those dreams that God has put in your heart. Be consistent. Be consistent to be intentional. You have to be consistent. Be consistency just means doing it, doing it over and over and over and over again. Doing it when you don't want to do it. Do it when you want to do it. I remember when I started, when I, when God gave me um, the devotional, the manuscript for the devotional, he said to me, I had to write 
three by five eight three by five cards every day and i and he said to me you have to finish it he gave me a certain deadline and i remember there were days i would come back like especially on sundays from church and i just was tired i didn't want to do it and i'll hear god saying to me um you haven't written today you might want to stand up and i'm like god i'm tired but he's like sorry you have to and he would help me i would get up and i would sit there and i would write so consistency and i remember every day i had to write every day every day and I find when you're consistent, like Gloria Copeland says, inconsistency lies the power. When you're consistent, before you know it, it becomes a habit. Consistency helps you to put those habits in place. There is so much that God has put on the inside of us to birth those dreams. We have to play our part if we want God to play his part. I'm going to still be sharing on this next week because there is a whole lot that I want to share. But I'm going to continue from here. So hold on to those two tips that I've shared this week get a schedule a schedule that works for you and be consistent every day day in day out when you feel like it when you don't feel like it start on those two and we'll, i'll join you again next week and then we'll share on the other tips that i have i'll have an awesome week ahead if you haven't connected with me yet please do on oloalabody.com you can connect with me on facebook instagram and twitter see you next time